Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. This is what I'm up to today. I've had this cute little shelf forever, it seems like. <laughs> and I keep passing it up. So we're going to do it today. The sides here, the top pieces on the top are going to uh, clamp onto the sides here. So we're going to use this uh, shimmer pink and this shimmer red and my resin pigment paste and gray. And then we're going to use this glitter. It's Recollections from uh, Michaels for the sides of the shelf. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this uh, pink into my cup. I keep passing this mold up all the time. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it. But I'm uh, making this little shelf for um, the little girl that my daughter's caring for right now. Um, CPS placed the this baby into my daughter's home so uh i wanted to make this little shelf for that baby she's so sweet she's like two months old and precious little doll so i'm taking my glitter now and i'm going to put it in one of my cups I'm just switching my sticks out. And now I have 200 milliliters of resin here. And I'm going to pour just a little bit down into the cup. And I'm going to get them stirred up real good. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put the rest of the resin in the cups and give it a little stir. And I like to do this to uh, keep the bubbles to a minimum. And this is the glitter. So I'm just, I just gave it just a little stir. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the resin to, to the cup for the glitter. Isn't that glitter beautiful? I hope it looks good on this tray. And then we're going to go ahead and stir up that pink mica in the bottom of our cup. I don't really like to stir with these silicone sticks because it, it can't get at the bottom of the cup really good. So I switched back out to my popsicle stick because it gets right down there in those little uh, cracks and crevices at the bottom of the cup. That color is beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some resin to these cups. And then I forgot my cup to put my gray pigment paste in. So now we got to make a cup for it. And I'm just going to go ahead and stir up these uh, mica powders right quick into our resin. So that way they can be degassing a little bit while we're doing something else. Now, let's get the pigment paste in this cup right here. And I got this pigment paste from uh, Timu. I'm going to stir it up. And then I'm just going to keep a little bit on my stick there and put it down in my cup. And 
And then we're going to go ahead and stir it up. It's really dark. Um, I probably should have chose a different color gray. But I was looking and looking and I couldn't find a gray that was lighter than this one. And we're going to go ahead and add about two drops of this Cast and Craft Opaque White to our um, that shimmer red. Because I want to whiten it up a bit. I mean, I don't want it completely white, but I just want to give it a little bit more. Um, a little bit more of that white look to it, but I don't want it to be completely white. Now I'm going to spritz the mold with some alcohol. I'm going to move these cups out of the way before I knock them over because I will. <laughs> And I'm just going to go ahead and pour. And I'm just getting that base layer laid down. And I'm going to take my uh, silicone tipped uh, brush here. And I'm just going to make some little swirls through the colors. Blend them in just a little bit. And now let's go ahead and do... Let's add the colors the opposite way. Like I put the gray in the middle, now I put it up top. I just switched the colors around a little. And now I'm going to make some more swirls in that. And then get on out of there. <laughs> now we're going to go on down to the next one. And I'm going to drop that gray in in the middle. This uh, shimmer on the top. And then the pink on the bottom. We're going to give it some twirls. And now we're going to go in with the shimmer on the bottom. Well, we don't really have a whole lot of shimmer left. <laughs> so let's just drop it in here on the top. And then we'll blend it in a little bit. We don't have much left of each color. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop them in on top. And then I'm going to take my silicone. I'm not going to put any more gray in that because um, the gray is so dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave it like this. And now I'm going to use my heat gun. Popping some of those surface bubbles. And just heating that resin up a bit. Get it moving around some in there. Paying close attention to my edges where the bubbles might be trying to hang on. <laughs> now I'm going to go on down here to the other section. Okay, now I'm going to spray some alcohol and then put some on the top and let's go ahead and pour our glitter for the sides of our shelf.
I hope this glitter matches really good. I know it changes colors when the light hits it. I just hope it's going to look good with this. You know, that's what I struggle with the most um, is choosing colors for my pieces. I do. I struggle with that. It's so hard for me to choose colors. <laughs> Sometimes I'll get so aggravated at myself and I just have to get out of my craft room, go take about 10 minutes and come back in. <laughs> It's like I've looked at the colors for so long that, you know, they're all blending together in my head and I just can't pick any that go together. And I even have one of those color charts that try to help you, you know, what colors you don't mix with each other. And it's just so hard for me. So now I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to uh, pop some of those surface bubbles and just heat that resin up a bit. Okay, now, here is, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill these hands up, and then they're going to be going in a giveaway. So I thought it would be fun for y'all to see which colors go into it. So I made some of those little um, pots that we had in my haul yesterday, the little storage container pots that screw on, the lid screws on, and I made two of them. And this is the uh, leftover resin from them. I done them in like some fun uh, fluorescent colors. So I thought it would be fun to let you watch me dropping the colors into the hands. Each time I put a color in there, I'm going to share it with you. And then when we get it full, I'm going to do a giveaway for it. So if you guys think that's fun and you like the thought of that, then let me know. If you don't like it, then let me know. Because I don't want to do something in giveaways that you're not going to like or you're not going to be interested in. So let me know. I would love to hear your opinion and your thoughts on it. And I have another color here. This is a white. And I'm just trying to do like little paint splashes in it. I thought that would be neat. And every color I put in there, I'm going to try to do it like this. Kind of the paint splatter look. It's going to be interesting to see what these come out like. <laughs> Okay, now here are the little storage pots, and I thought it would be fun to uh, demold them together and let you see my thoughts and my opinions on them. Here's the bottom of one of them, and I have a little bit of cleanup to do on the bottom. Um, I wasn't trying to be too particular when I poured it. And then here's the top. And here's what they look like. And then I'm trying to screw it on there. And I'm telling you, it's really, um, I'm not impressed right now. Um, the, look, the, top, the lid there is not really wanting to uh, screw on tight. It's want, when it gets to the part where it's supposed to be tight, it wants to skip over and go back into uh, starting the, the whole thing. Uh, Thing over like you had just put the lid on there and just started screwing it on so I'm gonna let them cure for a few days and then I will go back and uh, see if I have a different opinion on them now this one right here it tends to screw on there a little bit tighter than this other one right here 
but this one right here it just it does not want to stay on there tight so I'm gonna let them cure up and then I'll give you my opinion on them after that and so now here's the hands and then this is the leftover resin that I'm pouring in there now from our shelf that we just made remember the gray that I had left over that I didn't want to put in the the uh, tray the part of the shelf that's what this leftover resin is okay let's get to demolding our shelf let's see how this glitter looks see how it changes colors when you turn it it is a beautiful glitter and there's the little hearts in it if you can see them this shelf is so adorable it really is but we'll see how it holds up I'm gonna let it cure and uh see if it ends up being a nice little shelf okay let's get these pieces out and let's try to put it together it's still a little bendy but I'm almost positive we can get it put together I'm not loving these colors that I chose, but <laughs> I guess it's all right for a little girl, little girl's uh, room. I wanted the colors to be a little bit more softer than this, but I just could not find a lighter gray. I'm trying to get this side in here and it's not wanting to go in there because the it's really soft right now so it's not wanting to work with me so I'm gonna turn it over and see if I can get it in that way okay I got that one in there <laughs> Now let's work on this one. I'm going to do it like I did the other one. See if I can get it in there a little bit easier. Yes, this one's going in much easier. <laughs> okay, no problem with all the, the pieces fitting into each other. That looks nice. Okay, what do you guys think about this shelf? Do you like it? I'm not really liking the, the colors I chose. I wanted the colors to be a little bit more softer than this. So let me know what you all think of this. I mean, be honest, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. Um, this is not one of my best pieces I've ever made, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, but I struggle the most with colors, putting colors together and choosing colors. I mean, I really do struggle with that, you guys. Does anybody else struggle with that? Or is it just me? I mean, I, I really do. It takes me forever just to choose some colors, you know? <laughs> well, my friends, I want to thank you for watching. And thank you for con your continued support. I hope you all have a great weekend. And I will see you on Monday. God bless you. Bye-bye, my friends.